lovely people you are welcome to my channel thanks so much for your support please if you are watching me and you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing and to sorry shameless and subscribe here yeah, miss so subscribe and if you just joined all the lessons are on the channel so just go to videos and you get from lesson one to the current lesson and follow and practice and within some few months you will be able to sew for yourself okay today we are going to learn how to draft trousers for women in the we will see miss ma what trousers for women miss yafo these are the measurements i'm going to use i'll leave everything on the description side for you to watch so how to determine your fabric width a coin of for them window a fabric do do i mean here time do do i mean here it's your tie measurement divided into two so the tie measurement you are using for this is 28 28 so 28 when you divide it into two is going to be 14 14 so when we measure what we have here we have 15 15 here and i've made one inch line one inch line as my starting point and the one inch allowance or the one inch space here it can be used for extra allowance if you want to add more allowance to your um your trouser especially at the waist area okay so how to get your crotch which is most the difficult part for most people is your hip measurement divided into four plus one hip divided into four plus one if you are making it high waist then you are going to make it plus two or plus three plus two is okay so from two to three is for high waist trousers but if you are making it normal waist measurement then add plus one and that is so okay and so the hip we are using for this is 44 44 no you use 44 divided by four is going to be 11 so 11 will add one into the one head back 11 now you're 12 so 12 and so you place it at the waistline this line is going to be for our waistline so waistline then you measure 12 into the measure 12 okay you have a measure 12 or so aha then we are going to join the points okay so this is it now the next thing now you've been here is your waist to knee your waist to knee that is the next measurement waist to knee and the waist to knee for this is 21 21 we will add half inch to it making it 21 and a half so 21 and a half we mark here then we'll come here to We'll come here to measure 21 and a half. Okay. So, we'll join the point. Okay, the next measurement to use is your trouser length. Into the trouser length for this is 40 but this paper is exactly 40 and i would need to add two inches for um sewing allowance and because of that i'm going to reduce it to 38 so that i can teach you something at that uh, sewing allowance point so i'm going to reduce it to 38 so 38 and we have the 40 here okay and i'm going to mark here also 38 and this is the 40 point uh -huh. so this two inches down here is for folding folding inside and it's very important i add it to the drafting so i will teach you something there. okay so now we are going to get our crotch the hip we are going to measure this is the line we measure the hip this is the same line we are going to get our crotch into line a yeah measure your hip or this one a crotch line 
okay but before then i'm going to determine the middle of this just to get a middle straight line and so 14 divided into 2 is going to be 7 into middle 7 what to have then I'll, I'll measure 7 also here the same thing then i'll come to the ankle area also measure 7 so i'm going to join the points Okay, this is it okay so to get the crotch we we'll measure our hip on it the hip is 44 and that is divided into 4 is going to be 11 into you have a measure 11 why a hip measurement 11 into a little line you prepare pay you get our 11 into 11 then we we'll go to the waistline remember waistline so we we'll measure the same 11 the same 11 here okay 11 here okay so here i will join from this point to this point so after this if you have the man we are going to measure three inches up if we measure three inches up okay so three inches here you can use your hand to curve it or use the curve just make sure that it won't go in that much and so if you are using your hand you can measure one and a half points here then you draw it through to this point but i'm going to use a curve to draw it okay so this is it for our crotch okay now the next thing to do is to place our measurements on it when we come to the waist this is where this is the line you are going to take your measurement your waistline and see you take with waist measurements not from this point so the waist is 36 36 divided by 4 is going to be 9 and see at the 9 bottle half this is 9 now if you are the 1 inch for that so you are going to add 1 inch for that which is 10 then 1 inch for sewing allowance and that is going to be 11 now you can give more sewing allowance instead of marking at 11 you can add extra one to make it 12 this is because the 11 you will divide it into two that means half inch here and half inch here so you can increase it by one making it 12 so that you have one inch here and one inch here. so i'll make it 12 so this is 12 okay so this is our waist measurement okay then as for the hip area we'll leave it like that but in case you want to add more you can add at least half inch to it when it comes to the front one you don't need to add too much allowance because most of the allowance will go to the back one so you can add half inch allowance to all or you can decide to leave it like that i'm not going to add allowance to the rest just the waistline is okay then we come to the knee area area the knee measurement you are using is 18 so 18 divided by 2 is going to be 9 9 so it means you have to get 9 on this line so now we'll divide it into 2 making 4.5 into 4.5 in knee. so you place 4.5 it will make the upper pair pack into them number and knee measurement are in here 18 18 each may be in your nine nine the better may be each may be about four and a half until then four and a half bottle line of the paper per ewa ha and tony this is it so four and a half here then you measure nine here so you have your 18 so you can choose to add half inch to it or leave it like that i'm going to leave it like that then you come to the ankle area the ankle measurement is 14 ankle 14 so divided into two is going to be seven into seven so you divide it into two three and a half and so you place three and a half at the middle then you mark three and a half here you come and mark seven here okay so this is it and you are going to join the points together so from knee to ankle 
then from the knee to the hip line with a straight line a straight ruler okay then from the hip to the waist from our waist to hip is not straight so we are going to use the curve to curve it and so from hip to waist okay then we come to this place we're going to join from crotch to the knee we we'll used a curve to do it you can choose to use a straight ruler okay then we are going to join from the knee to the ankle with a straight ruler okay so this is it for our drafting now the next thing to do is to mark our dart and our pocket the dart we are using is eight eight inches eight when you divide it into two it's going to be four so it means you have to place the tape measure here and mark four but because when they are when we are sewing we will sew one inch here remember we added two inches to the waistline as an allowance one inch for this place and one inch for the other side here and so because we we'll add one we we'll sew this place by one inch we are going to instead of four here we are going to measure five so we'll add one to eight and make it five okay and so five here then we are going to measure from down here we are going to measure five and then we'll join the points okay then we'll measure half inch on both sides half inch on both sides half inch here half inch here we're going to join from the half inch to the five inch here, half inch to the five inch here. Okay. So this is our that. We are going to mark our pockets. Our pockets. The pocket you place the tape measure at where you added the half where you added the allowance not on this mark line but where the waist line is so three inches here so measure three inches this is three inches then you will come here from the waistline you measure seven inches so this is seven and so this is seven and then we are going to draw a pocket you can use straight ruler to straight it to make it straight or you can curve it and so i'm going to use this curve to curve it it won't be that much curved okay so from the three inches to the seven inches then prepare in the area okay it's here in the mirror this is it so it means that when you are cutting you cut this off you will cut this pocket off okay so we are going to cut it but with this i am not going to cut the pocket with it i am going to cut it and use it to trace the back then after i'll cut the pocket side and when we are cutting when you are cutting to when you get to the down here you don't the folding part you don't cut it straight this way when you cut it straight when you fold you are going to get some reduction there is not going to be equal with the trouser and so when you are cutting you fold the folding uh, the two inches allowance inside this way and then you cut so when you cut you get it equal when you fold it or you open it then when you come to the seven inches line you join then you add quarter inch or half inch to it here too you will join the seven inch line then you add quarter inch so when you add quarter inch you slant it to this place quarter inch or half inch you slant it to this place then you cut it that way 
without wear when you fold it inside when you are sewing you get it matching equally and so we are going to cut our pattern now so fold it inside then we'll cut it So this is it for our curtain. This is it for the front part. Now, when you look at the down part here, you will see that this place goes in like this a bit compared to this. So when you fold it, everything is equal. But if you don't cut it this way, and then you just cut it straight, when you fold it, you are going to have this place not to be equal. So you have some shorted here like this. And this one is going to be open okay so this is it we are going to before we cut the pockets we are going to place this one on another paper and get the back pattern okay okay so I have a new paper and I've placed the front one on it now when you look at it you realize that I have space here and the space here is two inches two inches here okay and so when you look at the down part here when you look at the down part you realize that the, it's not up to the length of the front one we will leave it like that but when you place it on your fabric and you are cut make sure that it will be equal with the front one you will add the folding allowance that is two inches to it because we the upper part is two inches that is why it has reduced the length down there okay and this is because for the back because of our our backs the back trousers pattern the back is always supposed to be long that is the waistline is supposed to go up than the front one and so if you are working with someone who's who has a lot of hips or a lot of backs you have to add two inches two inches if the measurement is below 40 the hip is below 40 you can use one and a half inch for it and so i have two inches here and this is okay okay so we are going to add all our allowances to the back pattern okay so when we come here the crotch line crotch line i'm going to add one and a half inch you can add two inches or one inch i'm going to make it one and a half then i'll add one and a half also here now when we come to the crotch area, we are going to add three inches, crotch and bar the three inches. Wow, so you have to make sure it's equal three inches here. And then the knee area, I'm going to add two inches, two inches. Then I'll go to the ankle, I'll go to the ankle, then I'll go to the ankle area, I'll add two inches. Okay, and so this is it. I'm going to join the points together okay so this is it then i'm going to join this crotch to this point so i'll use my curve okay this is it so i'm going to join from this crotch to the knee using a curve ruler Okay, then I will use a straight ruler to join to the ankle. Okay, and so this is it for our trouser. As for this point, you don't need to add any allowance to it. All the allowances are here. You see, I have the one here that allowance be able come. Allowance in no one. Okay, so from here, the two inches here, we are going to slant it to the hip line. Place your ruler this way. Just place your ruler this way and mark it out. And this is it. So, so this is for the back. In the ahano, you can trace your dot here. Trace it here and trace this one also. Then you use a pin to pin this place and trace it there. Then you can draw your that. So this is now we are going to cut 
for the back too. Okay, so this is it for our female trouser drafting and cutting. Okay, so when you cut the crotch area, this is the front one, don't throw it away. You place it on your fabric and get three of these you're going to use for your flap. This is what you're going to use for your flap, unless you're not going to add flap to it. Okay, so there is this information I needed to add. When we're cutting this, making the measurement, we didn't consider band. And to tell you why you need the band back on, if you make up your mind to add band, then it means you're going to deduct the band measurement from it. So, the band that the barber count in the band you're going to add is two inches band. It means you're going to deduct two inches from it. And so you place your tape measure, your dough tape measure, not to two inches off it. If it's one and a half, you bring one and a half off it. So two inches off it. Then you measure your 12. You measure your crotch line. And see, the crotch line will not be here, it will be here. The same way you measure your tie. The same way you measure your knee and your length but if you are not adding band to it then it's going to be this way into a man consider band me measure straight without considering band okay so now that we are done cutting the back we will cut the pocket we'll cut the pocket from it it and so this so when you place it on the fabric you cut two of this i'll bring you a video on how to cut a pocket for this female trousers thanks so much for watching please if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing say in subscribe here subscribe share the video leave a comment and also like it bye bye